Well, you stole my answer because my answer is 5G, 5G, <laughs> and 5G. Today I'm here with Diego Scotti, who is the CMO of Verizon, and we're here in LinkedIn Studios doing Top of Mind, and we're gonna hear about what's stopping your mind, so welcome. Thank you, Nadine, how are you? This is a great space, great yeah. space. Yeah, I wanted to hear from you today, you know, with so much change in the industry, what are a few things that you're working on right now that are really exciting to you? Well, I'll tell you, for me, uh, at Verizon, uh, I tell you, the, uh, the number one uh, most exciting thing is that we're building uh, the most powerful 5G experience for America. I think you probably heard that, uh, but that's the focus of, uh, of our work. And then uh, personally, I'm also uh, leading a lot of the work for what we call Verizon 2.0, which is the, uh, the culture work around uh, the next phase of the company next year. is gonna be our 20th anniversary. So looking uh, at the past 20 and uh, igniting the next 20 is, uh, is super, super important. And then uh, also creating uh, the most creative and diverse marketing team in the world. Wow. Okay. So <laughs> that sounds ambitious, I know, but uh, but we but that's what who we want to be. So let's come back to innovation too, because it could be innovation in anything. I mean, obviously the world keeps changing. You talk about all the wonderful things that you're doing at Verizon, including 5G, and that's innovation in and of itself. Mm -hmm. But what innovations coming down the pipe that you are most excited by? Well, you stole my answer because my answer is 5G, 5G, <laughs> and 5G. Uh, listen, 5G is, uh, is truly uh, a, a very revolutionary technology in which uh, the future is going to be uh, is going to be built, you know. So from uh, uh, the difference that, of course, is going to make on your uh, handset when you're talking about a cell phone, but most importantly, how it's going to change uh, society in general. When you think how cities mm -hmm. uh, work, how uh, healthcare uh, will transform the the ability uh, of 5G to really add a tremendous capacity and and, and throughput. Uh, to uh, the speed that you're going to uh, experience is, is tremendous. I mean, imagine like a thousand times the speed that you currently see on your uh, cell phone is what you're gonna see uh, with 5G. So a lot of things that were unimaginable before, like uh, remote surgery, for example, mm. uh, are going to be able to happen. So I, I couldn't be really more, ex more excited than working on, on something that is gonna change the world, really. Wow, okay, so what then challenges do you think we face as, as an industry or in marketing as a function that we need to overcome? I think as a CMO, uh, the, the biggest challenge that I always think about is that uh, the, the evolution of the, of the role is very important for us to think about. You know, mm -hmm. it used to be that the CMO was primarily the steward of the brand, mm -hmm. uh, and now the CMO should really be the steward of growth. Uh, we should really drive uh, or highly influence uh, the growth agenda of the company as opposed to just being the, the ones that are in charge of uh, logos and branding and, and, <laughs> and, and the voice of the brand uh, because that's very needed and that's why uh, you see a lot of like CMOs, for example, leaving their posts and sometimes not being replaced is because their impact is not being felt. So that is something that is really critical for our industry. So then we can also do what we uh, our brands need to do, which is being that uh, amazing mm. uh, stewards of the brand that really create strong connections with uh, our customers and consumers. So with all that said, you know, there's so much that we can go deep into. Tell me a little bit about a career tip for somebody who's trying to be this incredible shepherd and steward of a brand. I would say actually two, oh, if, I, okay, if I may. One Lucky. is you're nothing without your team, and uh, that, that couldn't be more true on these days. And then I always remember uh, a tip I, uh, that uh, Anna Winter gave me. I mean, I had the the enormous privilege of working uh, at Vogue and, and she said, you know, be who you are mm. always without apology. And leading from that perspective is always what I try to do every every day. So I always, I always keep that with me. I love that. And I and that's fitting for what we're going to do next because normally I would close this out. But because you are definitely non-apologetic and I'm sure you'll be okay with this, I'm going to ask you to take over and close this out. You know, I have a, I was have a second career. If I, if I wasn't a CMO, <laughs> I would probably be an anchorman. So uh, for all of you out there, this was uh, everything that you have for you tonight. This was the news that was. <laughs> Thank you for joining us on Top of Mind. <laughs> Thank you.